right, here's the thing. You made a film. I like Lev. He's a, gonna, sweet, he's a gonna, sweetheart. We need to say this to begin he's a with. Sweet, he's a sweet man. Let's preface everything right now. I mean, yes. We need yeah. to preface. This is a long preface. This is, <laughs> Listen, Dude, I, I feel like fucking Tommy and Goodfellas walking into the room. Lev, there's two things you Lev need to Leon. know. Lev Leon. <laughs> Let's call him Lev Leon. Lev Leon. Listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, I will say, Lev is a funny stand-up comedian. He is. For his amount of time he's been doing it, he's funny. Yes. He tries hard. He works. Obviously, for the amount of time he's yeah, been yeah. doing it. Um, but we will see in this video that we're going to watch, he puts his stand-up in it as well. The stand-up is good. Yeah. The, you're, you're, you have not only good ideas, some of the ideas are really well worked out. And you're, yeah. The, the, we're going to get into why this is a horrible documentary. You had a psychic break. Something <laughs> happened in your head. <laughs> That it something happened where it's like you had a mini stroke that lasted for as long as you made the documentary. <laughs> yes. For two you weeks. were in the mind, and then like then you came out of it, and we're like, oh no, this is still cool. The second part I will say is I really like Lev. I like him yeah. as a person. I like him too. Uh, you got into Skankfest last year. It was not a favor because I don't know you that well. Right. We right. the process for Skankfest. Me and the other producers we independently watched you know over five hundred tapes. Okay. The people that got into just, and now we're just lying. But no, I swear to God, dude. Is that true? I swear to God. Wow. The first thirty stupid. seconds to a minute of that's the tapes. Dumb. <laughs> okay. And we on. didn't charge anybody for submissions. Like we don't fuck around. That's no, a real deal thing, dude. That festival was the best weekend I've had. Yeah. In yeah. So and far. you got. In legitimately, there's no bullshit. There's no favors. We're not friends like that. I've only had ten conversations with you probably in life. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, yeah. um, there's no bullshit about that. I don't want to. I don't want to act like this is um, like I'm just sucking your dick a little bit at first because we're about to trash you. Yeah. Um, but you know, I know we spoke before the show. You were a little worried about coming on. I guess people warned you that me and Tim. I guess me and Tim specifically we, have a reputation we, that we're well, assholes to young comedians. But usually only if they're involved in rape. Like, that's yeah. the... <laughs> and even then, we're not really assholes. We give, we give you a pretty fair yeah, shake. If you're yeah, a yeah. rapist, yeah, we, we, you know, we're probably... We're fair. We're ob- fair. The word I use is objective. But, <laughs> yeah. the, but you know, listen, the, the reality of the situation... You only raped YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, my listeners. Do, do we saw this documentary, or whatever you want to call it. So how would you... What is the term you would use? If because it, it's called Lev for twenty, and now correct me if I'm wrong, but you're twenty. Uh, and, just turned twenty one. And Lev did, yeah. for twenty. Oh, is, we got a sequel coming. Oh boy! Mm-hmm. Well, you do have a sequel coming because oh, Lev <laughs> has decided to make whatever you want to call this documentary, film, short film. Every year of his comedy career, as sort of a video diary, as a di- video diary. Journal, Here, here's what this documentary. Sto- yeah, to look yeah. back web on. series. And when Lev had he had, had written this. He sent an email blast out to everyone. Mm-hmm. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way. That's the way to do it. The way to do it. This is the way to ingratiate yourself into a comedy community is send an email blast to working comedians and yeah. tell them that they should watch yeah. your project. Yeah. And you usually would... what I do is I delete that person's contact in that moment. Yeah, immediately. That's a nice... So... That's when comedians give you their card. Yeah. And I, I, as soon as they turn around, I fling it at the back of their head. Right. As soon as they start to walk away yeah. from me. What I, Lev Leon did... I texted it to you. It said, tell me what you think of it. What's an email blast yeah. where he said, listen, I love Dave Chappelle. This was his thing. I would like... It Wouldn't it be interesting to see how Dave Chappelle grew every year as a comedian and as a person? Which, by the way... Yeah. Is a great concept. Maybe, maybe not. Let me explain to you, okay? Who knows? If and you know, what, actually, I think before we even get, go any further, yeah, I want to watch the first minute or so of this, okay? Watch the intro, and, yeah. and I will explain to you my perspective on on that. And okay. The, and so, so let's start this documentary. Let's right start now. the documentary. Or it's not a documentary, Lev. Do you want? Yeah, how about you set there, up? Give us. Yeah, the intro let me before just you this, play. This, give an intro. Okay, real quick. really quickly. All I decided was said, "Hey, man, I want to be famous. Yeah, I don't want to work <laughs> hard, and I don't want to spend eight years. I getting don't want to throw comedy. chairs. I just want. Okay, here's yeah. what I wanted to do. I said, you know what? I fucking love comics like Chappelle and these guys, right? All my idols. Yeah. And clearly I'm as skilled as them. I'm kidding. <laughs> but what I was saying is like, I would have loved to see them when they weren't that good. Yeah. Like when they were just learning how to do this shit and, you know, figuring it out. Yeah. And I said, why don't I just make a yearly 10 minute video of, and I throw some of my friends in it. We talk shit. And then it's it's kind of like a comedy tape. Instead of just making another tape, yes. I was like, why don't I just try yes. to make something different that I And would then like. what you do is you take that tape, you block it away in a box, and then yeah. 20 years later you yeah. show it to your friends and yeah. family at a, at a, you know, right. and that's fine. I've got so no you, problem with you that. You said, I want to make something different. I don't want to make a tape of me killing on stage with material that I had written I mean, and workshop. There's some of that in there. There's some of that in there, yes. Yeah, it's, half of the thing is just me doing stand-up. 
The other, a third well, of it. Well, here's it. You could have made the whole thing <laughs> you doing stand up. Which you also, also, I'll say, you yeah. shouldn't do. And the, right. reason, the reason I'll say this is because the jokes are good. But here's the thing, Lev, and you're going to realize this later on. Um, you're going to thank us for this podcast, by the way, later <laughs> in life. Because I, I, I do like you, and I consider you a friend. And we're yeah. going to continue to be friends, okay? And whoever, whoever told you not to come on this show and didn't tell you that that documentary stinks... They're not your real friend. Everybody, and listen, you've you brought up names to me of people who told you they liked the documentary. They're lying. I have I have on my phone Facebook messages from them, those exact people <laughs> telling Wait, me who are you talking about? that your documentary was garbage. Who are you talking about? And I will read, I'm not gonna say their names, but I will read the messages of the people who have told you personally that they like your documentary. They're lying to your Lev, face, they're dude. Lying listen, they're lying to your face, face and not... they're being shitty friends to you. We're being good friends, Lev. We're the Lev. only yeah. friends you have, yes, Lev. Listen, listen, Everybody God, else is, is fucking so... a yes man. Dude, it's possible. It's very possible that a it lot of comics, possible. look, I knew releasing Something phonies. like this, a lot of comics would shit on it. That's yeah. just a part of it, though. I, like, I don't really if care. If I could physically shit on it, I would. I... <laughs> if there was a way to physically shit on a YouTube video without running my now computer. Let's, let's with, because the audience is going, what is this? Yeah. Let's get into this because before we got to. We got When I saw this, I was in disbelief that someone would make this. Mouth agape. And, but this is what you got to respect about Lev. Lev really is. Shameless and in in the yeah. sense that is respectable and has no self awareness. He's like Kathy Lee <laughs> what Gifford. What the fuck are you talking? You no are. Self-awareness. You are. Right. And also, no uh, self awareness. Even before you the video, remember before he was like, dude, he brought up he's brought up one story on the show and it was about how he had a threesome. Yeah, you, that that yeah. I said went badly because I couldn't get home. No, but he, this is what he does. He tries to be self deprecating. He, he tries, right? <laughs> but he just wants to be cool. He wants to be. A, you yes. were a rapper in high school. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Ah. He was a rapper. Yeah, comedy is just another a avenue fat for Russian him. Rapper. To get, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, my name is Lev Leon. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know how hard it is to rhyme things with ca- Lev. Put the caveat on a pussy in my face. But the, the the thing is, I wonder if he, he wants to be a comedian or if comedy is an avenue to just We're going to find out fever. on today's show. I mean, if you look at his, it's complicated. It's him with like this frosty tipped hair and it's like, he's it got, looks like a pop star. If I had those eyes, it's I don't crazy. know that I would. He's a good looking guy, but very the, handsome. the actual picture of him Can I tell you is the problem, a pop Tim? star's album. And this is the truth, Lev. You used to be a fat kid, right? Yeah, yeah. You used to be like 300. Let me, get, we're going to do this story. Play some of this movie because I, I don't want, we got to yeah, talk we gotta, this. Yeah. This is so good. All right. This the is actually better than I thought it was going to be right No, the movie's great. Yeah. I was 17. My dad saw me Look do stand up yeah. for the first time. Only time he seen me do stand up, and he That's watched I, me. And after my set, imagine Chris he Brown's said, dick uh, looks like that. Yeah, I don't see anything that makes me think you're going to be good at this. And he uh, looks like a like a failed Vine star. And I moved to New York, man. I worked really fucking hard for two and a half years and <laughs> gave him my all. And I'm starting to think he was right. Okay, so stop that right this there. Is... So at the end, he does this self-deprecating, but yeah. that's not what that's about. Nope, it's about it's looking about cool. It's about two and a half years of working hard in New York, and he looks cool. He's got Nobody his fucking thought, weird even jacket. His own, no. Even his own dad. Even his dad was like, you suck. Him. Even his own dad. His dad knew. Yeah, but he knows he's supposed to be self-deprecating. <laughs> his dad was so like, you'll, bit... you'll make shitty documentary in <laughs> two, three years. Watch what you will make. You will bring shame. Instead of just getting funny, putting your head down. Live Leon. Live Leon. Live Leon. Leon. That's the only not thing that is, that is less all. good in your comedy is your documentary making Lev skills. Leon, you stupid fuck. I would rather watch Who Took Johnny than this stupid, self-aggrandizing documentary about an open micer, Lev Leon. Dude, it that... is so stupid. <laughs> no, 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 but you're sitting there looking like a vine star. And you're poignant. You're doing this poignant thing. Look, it's like genuine. Can I look? look yeah. Dude, to, to me, look. like the okay. reason I put that in because that's shit, that's a true story. My, the, for, my dad's only seen me do comedy once, and he was like, "You shouldn't do this," and yeah. that was it. And after that, and I was like, "Okay, that's a." Fu-. And I t- told people that story, and I was like, "Is that? I think that's really funny." Yeah. And they said that's not funny, and right. so we just recorded it, and that was it. And then yeah. I was like, "Why don't we just start it that way?" Here's the thing: you're not. Uh, the whole documentary. I'm going to tell you that's the whole tone of it. The whole tone of it is there's not there's n- it's not that. The documentary is not poorly made. Right, right. You're not a bad dude. You're not an unfunny person. You're <laughs> not like the the problem is it's your the point of the whole the, this whole thing is you, look at me. You, you wanna you wanna look cool, right? And you wanna be funny and gain fans. This is doing the opposite of no, that. But that yeah, was, yeah, this that is wasn't this the is opposite this is the opposite of that. What it's doing is it's making people, whether it's comics or regular people, cringe and vomit. Yeah. <laughs> 
for the whole entire thing. <laughs> because, it, number one, it is not cool to do open mics in New York. I don't care where you came There's from. There's no it's open mics a, in this. It's not a dangerous city. It doesn't take a lot of guts to live here. You didn't grow up in the project. There's no origin story here worth documenting. Yeah. That's the issue, too. You didn't overcome a lot. I mean, I know you lost a lot of weight. Good for you. But, like, we're watching this, which is why I would Oh, even... so you shouldn't talk about that? i got to be honest with you. When I hear people, because I've lost a lot of weight, too. Yeah. Um, when I hear about people, and I, I should take my own advice. I'm talking to myself right now. Yeah. Okay? When I hear people talk about how much weight they lost, I can't not imagine their loose, yeah. gross, naked but bodies. But it's not even that. It's just be, be what you are now. Just be what you be yeah, with the thing right. you want to. But when we watch the documentary, a lot of the documentary is you trying to be. You're kind of like you know that you have to be self deprecating to kind of tie it all together, and that's why you have your friends. Kinda, you're smart. That's the thing. You're that's actually you're smart. smart. You're but thinking you're smart. your way. You, in you guys, you guys think there was so much more intention and planning in this thing, which than... is a problem that this naturally is in you. Well, it's We're naturally trying to is beat in it you. out of you. No, but We're trying to beat out. You want to be Justin Bieber? Yeah, dude. not at is, all. There's nothing funny about Bieber. There's nothing yeah. funny about nothing Bieber. Funny but about you Bieber. don't. Well, I don't know if so in your heart. I don't know if in your heart. You want to be a comedian or you want to just be famous? Do you know Bieber was on Comedy Central? And here's this actually a great yeah, point. Yeah. So he did that roast, right? So right. he's sitting there and Bieber and all of his friends, he's going, look, guys, look, I, I can take a joke. Look how funny and cool I right. am. But that's it's actually that specific thing is the problem with this documentary because I almost feel like it comes from that same place where you're trying to prove that you are self-deprecating. You're trying to prove that right. you don't actually care, but you do care. And I'm telling you that th this... You don't want to come off you this desperate. Like, you can't even laugh about it now. You're like, because no. you still, it's still so important to you that you can always look cool. Dude, that's yeah. not what it, I'm, we're talking about. Like, that's okay. not, what I, here's the thing. I think I, what I, I miss, what's the word I'm looking for? I construed. feel like people don't, yeah, misconstrued all the time with this kind of shit. Like, people are like, oh, he's trying to look cool. Dude, I'm like, a, like I'm just into certain shit like i you know like yeah. you're like what is he wearing in that i was like that's just the shit i wear like what kind i know but it's like it's also like sitting outside of the stand smoking cigars you don't work at the club but you're there smoking cigars yeah, with like a chick cigars. it's like okay i get it but it's also like you're you're putting out this image before the work yeah before the well, that, really, and that's and the, that's, that's the issue that's the problem the image, you're very the people, optics you're people that the optics. In, people that put in the work and put in the time it's, if somebody made this documentary about you i've never seen later, mark norman smoking a cigar outside his stand yeah. with a chick you know what i mean well, but, I hold on, that, I'll that say is this. Another comic. Listen, I, yeah. I'll say this. I don't care about the way you dress. People dress the way they dress. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We're just going to make fun of it. It's, it's of course, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people in real life would look at the way you dress and look at the way Tim dresses. Yeah, and be and like, would, you're, you're the they better would one. laugh in his face. Absolutely. Right. So, 100%. But, once again, it's not, it's not funny. The guy that just bought the building. What, what we're trying to do <laughs> is, we're, you know, Comedians are trying to be funny. We're trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah as, as funny as possible. And you'll hear people say this about women, right? The, yeah. When women will get, they'll look really good on stage, they'll wear a mini skirt or get really dolled up. Yeah. What they'll do is, pe guys will say this a lot and they get called sexist, but it's kind of true. Right. It's like, listen, you're getting people to be on your side for the wrong reason. Right. So when you do all of this other stuff, even if you're doing it, even if they are getting on your side, and yeah. even if you are gaining fans, they're not doing it because you're absolutely as funny as possible. They're not connecting with that, which is what you really want them to connect with, right. is what's great about you and what's funny about Colin you. Colin Quinn said when comedy's cool, it always loses. Yeah. Comedy's not the guy that wins the fight. It's not the guy that gets the girl. You're you know watching, I mean? you're watching, it's almost like you're watching like Dane Cook and going like, yeah, dude, all yeah. right. And I think Dane Cook's very funny. Right. It's, Dane Cook's so funny, aside from the fact that he kind of had that douchebaggy type yeah. thing. Right, right, right. But that is definitely not, you're, you're, you're Dude, I, and I don't want to be a dick because I feel like you're feeling bad now. No, no we don't I'm want not. You to feel bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're missing the mark for what you're going for. You're trying to be and, funny and, and, and awesome. And that's the thing. I realized as I got on the – like, dude, I went through such a cycle of like, fuck these guys. Like, they don't – but then yeah. I realized as I rolled over here, I was like, man, I should not have shot this thing in black and white and, yeah. and made it as fucking or in artsy. Color, or in color. <laughs> or at all. You should have just shot yourself in you the head. You should have shot yourself in the mouth. Yeah. Um, in that jacket, by the way. That would have been a great documentary. You know, I moved here two and a half years ago to do stand-up comedy. And you know what? <laughs>